Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this gorgeous overcast of Tuesday, I have another video for you. Old time build I had a long time ago. This will be video number 13, I believe, on the Dave Mather appreciation build, dedication build of the, of the Billings Norse Club. Okay, I got another video too coming from the Leave of Dan right after this. I got a lot of progress down on it. You'll like it, how it looks. And uh, well, I got my fittings for my Zort EZ. Oh, that came in last week sometime. So I can show you, show you those. Got those that they came in. And uh, so I got so I got the Zort EZ going on. So it'll be bottle shifts throughout the year, guys. Uh, and when I get moved out of here, I'll, I'll start back on airplanes and everything. Okay. I tried my airbrush yesterday, it just keeps spitting water out. I just don't know. You know, I need a new water trap for it. I don't know. It only does it during the, during, during the, during the summer months. Too much humidity, I think, in Ohio, for one thing. That's probably what it is. But anyway, make a long story short, though, I lie low on the airbrush, so I got plenty to do with these. Let's get these things done. Okay, I'm going to have two cameras here one for chatting and one for watching. So I'm going to turn around and get the camera over here, and I'm going to set it up so we take pictures of the Norse Love here and discuss what I got through it. We'll come back here and finish it up here and uh, and prepare for video number five uh, for the Lilo Damba Billings. Okay, this is a very, very old kit, this Billings kit is. It's old. It's ancient one. It's very ancient. A new kit nowadays is, supersedes this by, by a million miles. I'd say nowadays... Modelers nowadays they have they try to build the Norse Love. The old school one like this one has, they didn't have a hell of a time. Because you can, everything's gonna be cut out the same. And this wood here, that's the sound of petrified mahogany veneer wood to begin with. Guarantee number eleven knife break breaking blades. Okay, enough chatter and uh we'll swing the camera to the Norse Love. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the Norse Love. Okay, got the camera. We'll swing around and we'll take a look at the Norse Love right here. Here she is thus far as I got, as far as I got on. Last time I took off from it, guys, remember I had live action video? When I took a darn, uh, I took my um, routing tool and I engraved all these little Galleries back here. I got to finish all this back here. I got back here to finish and on the other side I got little figures. I got to do I got a lot of work I'm saving this stuff for last but right now the most important stuff. I got done already All right, you know the back of the cabin you see hey if I got the mask on yeah This thing is so big guys We have the four masks this thing is tall. This is one tall Momo all the way from the forecastle, it goes up, 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 up. Up to the top, almost penetrating that Grand Gulf Hawk up there. And certainly all these models will come down next week. They go over there at the house. Mamus. Up, 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 up into the clouds. Just touching the wingtip of the Coronado. That's 42 inches tall. That's 33 inches. That's 36. That's, that's uh, 35 inches from there. The foremast. The name is the same way. It goes up, 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 tall. All the way up. Almost touch, almost touching. That's uh, 28 inches. 28 inches. This is big. This is one of the biggest models that Billings is, uh, has offered. Along with the Cuddy's Heart. There's a couple few others. Well, this is the granddaddy's the expert version of the uh, of the Billings catalog range. Now, this kit here is prehistoric. This is the old kit, guys. This ain't the new one. This is a very, very difficult kit to build because everything's got to be cut out with a knife. And believe you me, the woods in these kits are all mahogany and popular and some kind of uh, lemon wood and rayon wood. Uh, Exotic woods and uh, 
that's the touch that they use. There's no stain on it. It's all natural. Okay, right here next, I got to work on these here. This is what I'm telling you about a while ago. These are the top of the, these are the rings at the top of the mast up here. Like it is right there. Already pre-drilled where the rat lines go through. Keep that bank from breaking. That can't be cut out. It's got to be, you got to use a Dremel tool with a sanding drum on it. You got to sand the lines and hold it very closely make sure it don't fall apart on you. It's very hard woods. And I've got this piece here I found. It should go right around, wrap around here, right like that. And it goes all the way around to the fantail aft. Got a lot of work to this thing, but the hard part is I got this mass on there. Now I want to tell you, I kid you not, I got about almost 16 hours straight straight labor in those masks. Because remember, all those mass cats got to be cut out with a knife, sat in, shape, and make sure that they're, they're all they're all concise. Yeah. So I want to finish this up. I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to finish up on. I'll get my new place and everything and get this place going. I'll have a nice little place to keep my models at. A lot of work, guys. I put a lot of work on this thing. You can review some of these videos I made on this thing. You can tell it's a lot of work. This model is not designed for the novice. No, it isn't. If a novice bought this to build, he needs his brain in a jar starving, star, studying at Harvard. It was a very difficult kit to build. Mostly because of the woods that they give you in this thing. Real nice model. I love this thing. Norse love. Okay, we're going to swing around to the other camera and finish up the video. Of course, you know, the fittings goes to my goes to my uh, Zwerdy Z. I got that going. So I have the Blood Dan is is in board of the in board of the um, North Slab. Okay. Yeah. It's come along, fellas. It's come along really good. I'm very happy with this thing. Alright, we'll get back to the other camera.